Welcome to a brand new emergency account review episode. Now, if you don't know what this is, it's very simple. On the first Tuesday of the month, I invite the community to show me the worst accounts they own. Whether they're accounts that just really need help, or they're accounts that obviously are full of mistakes. The whole point of this is to help them improve. Now, I don't normally enjoy roasting people. That's a lie. It's great fun. But we will be taking a look at these people and giving them constructive criticism and advice that you will hopefully find useful. And if you want to take part in this, join us on the first Tuesday of every month. But sadly, today's the 1st of June. It's way, way there, way at the beginning. So you guys are going to have to wait till July. But either way, let's go take a look at what folks are sitting on today. So this first account belongs to Chaos Dragon. Now, Chaos Dragon is a free-to-play player, level 162, and seems pretty good. He's got Sigmund as his avatar picture. I rate it. I rate it. That's pretty cool. And we're on server 10. So let's have a look. Our chapters are 36. You can't see it because I'm in the way, but trust me, it is. And his heroes. Well, that's how we got here, isn't it? It's a server 10 account. So my guess is you started this account, you stopped this account, and then you came back. Oh, boy. <laughs> we have an E5 penny, ladies and gentlemen. That's okay. That's not bad. But would you look at this? E3 Horus, E2 Vesa, E1, 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 E1. Now, I say it a lot. There's nothing wrong with building heroes you enjoy, but build them one at a time. So a Garuda, a Valkyrie, a Sigmund, and an Ormus is not optimal. You're going to have to get your soul stones out to regress this, boys. Let's see if we have any soul symbols in the bag. We have five. Oh, okay, we can get rid of one. Yikes. Who? We've got double healer. That's so old school. What an old school account. Man. Chaos Dragon. This is... This is insane. Woo. All right, all right. Let's look at the penny. Let's see what she's got. So she's got six star gear. We've got crit armor break. Okay, we want crit crit attack on here. That's ideal. Tread of lightness. That's a fun one. HP speed crit. That's actually pretty cool. Her enables. Woo. Okay, dude, she's E5. Unbending will. She's so fragile. The unbending will is pretty much necessary on Penny. In fact, it makes her really strong. So I, I rate this. I rate this. If we switch to unbending will, she's fun. E5, not bad. You are going to need to switch these around a little bit. So let's go with the one that removes CC. And then... Or maybe even marks. One of the two. Have an experiment. See which one works. Speed? Don't know if you really need it. Let's... No, no, I don't want HP. Let's go with attack. And we've got attack there. Yeah, that's good. That's good. So that's fine. That penny's now... Moderately better. And there's also the question of... We need ranger gear. But we don't have any. Oh! There's warrior gear on Horus. Focusing on the wrong hero there, my friend. Ooh, we've got priest gear on Vesa as well. Okay, okay. My guess is you picked these up before you got the penny. And she's only E2 as well. Man. Okay. So this account is, I assume, reincarnated. Talk to me, man. Talk to me, Chaos Dragon. What, what's going on here? So Mirage was a mistake. You know what? No, it wasn't. Six-star Mirage is good. He could be used as food. That's not a mistake at all, dude. Let's see what else you're not happy about. Ormus would be your first choice to regress. Yes, that's fair enough. Ormus is a very, very bad hero. You've already got Vesa for healing, so I think you can sack Ormus, and that's okay. Sigmund offers armor break and burn, which is actually good for PvE, so just keep him around and E1. He should be one of the last ones you get rid of. Valkyrie... Sakharov. I know when you started, you were probably thinking Valkyrie's amazing. She is not anymore. And it's a shame you've got the runes power for her as well, because that's an insane artifact. But she is a bit underwhelming, for want of a better term. Uh, Vesica, I guess, can stay around as well for the healing. That's kind of cute. But really, as a healer, Ormus is better than Vesa. Hmm. So it's just kind of weird. Like, 
The big thing this account needs to do is just regress, regress, regress. You just need to sack off these last three heroes. Maybe even this Vesser as well. Not even maybe. Definitely this Vesser as well. And then just start making progress by replacing them. The nice thing is we haven't gone too heavy on our stones. I say that they're all Celestial 2 and 3. That's a lot of gold and dust that's been used to do this. That's unfortunate as well. There's a lot going on here that needs a little bit of love. Let's go take a look at your bag, right? Let's see what we've got. We've got a six-star puppet's chest. That's okay. And let's have a look at the heroes. We've got a nine-star puppet. Brilliant. That's going to help us make progress. Two Ignis, one Rogan, one Sherlock, one Ithaca. Okay. Olivia. Five Garudas. I know where you got them from. So I reckon Garuda's your second D5. So if we go Penny, Garuda. Let's get some Emilys up in here, man. Let's get some Emilys to help out this Penny. Penny also can do very well in the Void. We need to get some imprints on it. So what I would recommend is get Penny, get Garuda, and then imprint like mad. Because with imprints, Garuda should be able to do Seal and Forest with a little bit of help. And the same goes for Penny, again, with a little bit of help. So you should be okay on that front. In the meantime, try and save copies of Ithaca and Tix. I say this a lot, but I, you know I love Ithaca and Tix. I think the Shadow Faction is really good right now. And that'll help you out when it comes to doing Seal and Shadow. And once you've got them done, you can start thinking about Seal and Abyss. But I imagine by then, there'll be a new Abyss hero out that might change things a little bit. If not, you've already started building a Delacium here. And Delacium can do it at E5. What I would do, though, is maybe even just use this Delacium as food and just wait for something better to come along. Because I would say with this account, you're probably never going to build Delacium. Nine star Ada seems okay, but you're lacking Ada copies to finish at a ten star. I don't think there's any in the bag. Let's have a look. No, no sign of them. So yeah, that Ada's a little unfortunate. She's stuck at nine star. She's really halting your progress in the light faction. This Russell could be nine star too. But the other thing is, I don't think you have Russell copies either. Yeah, no. So that Russell could find himself in the exact same position. So that could really result in history repeating itself, dude. Be very, very careful. Now, Russell is a good choice for the Light Faction because he can clear Light Seal Land. But we don't know what new Light Heroes we have coming up at Anniversary, so things could change. I mean, it's been nearly a year since Russell was added to the game, and generally things do drop a little bit. So, yeah, all in all, this is interesting, and I understand why you are where you are. But generally, as a message to people that are starting off, do not enable heroes don't do this unless you're prepared to make them all the way up to e5 if heroes are 10 star they should be used as food to build an e5 we're not really in a situation now where you can just e1 whoever the heck you want now one thing that could be said is you probably had this account when enabling was added to the game which meant you just thought oh i'll just use my nine star heroes to enable these heroes people didn't really know the extent that enabling would change the game when it first came out people didn't even know that it was better to enable a hero to e3 at once and then leave your others finally e5 came and it became even more important so yeah you really want to be doing one e5 at a time and i imagine most of the scuffed accounts we're going to look at today are going to look like this where they're super wide they've not focused on one e5 at a time and we're just staring at tons of food that is going to waste literally you could have a handful of e5s here or just a, a group of e5 heroes that are imprinted but unfortunately we don't because we're sitting on a big pile of e1 and e2 heroes that are just going completely to waste what i would say is don't worry about pvp that's definitely something you don't need to focus on pve is the main focus especially pvp is going to be super hard because this is a server you stopped playing for a while and then came back this is server 10 we have boys from Omega Project in here. We have Ryan. We have this guy who's in LOD, whatever that is. And these guys are rocking Transcendence Heroes. They've managed to stay up to date with the meta. PvP is not your playground, my friend. You are not going to get a lot of progress here. This is really not going to happen. No, sir. So what you really have to do is just accept that PvE is your playground and focus on that. And if you want to try and be relevant in PvP, I would recommend starting again and be prepared to spend money. And if you don't want to spend money, which I imagine you don't, this is a free-to-play account, never focus on PvP. It is just not worth it. It is best to focus on game modes that you can do, such as Aspen Dungeon, Tower of Oblivion, Brave Trial, you know, all the fun stuff where you're going to get good rewards and you're going to be able to make progress.
and focus yourself on goals that are personal to you. Heroes that you're like, okay, I'm going to regress this one. And when you regress it, that should be an achievement. When you build a new E5, that should be an achievement. When you end up with an account that is scuffed like this, don't worry. Don't feel upset. Because actually, guys, it's an opportunity. It's a DIY project. It's a time for you to fix it up, make it look better, and make it nice. A lot of people like to renovate old furniture, right? They don't buy the furniture because it's scuffed. They buy it because they want to make it better. And that's absolutely what you can do here. So hopefully, with time, we can regress these heroes. We can start building some good E5s. We can get Garuda in on the scene. We can get Penny in on the scene. Maybe even Horus will be a good choice for you. So if you have Horus, Penny, Garuda, that's quite nice. Yes, they're fairly old heroes nowadays, but they're still pretty good, and they hold their own in their respective game modes. And eventually, you're going to want to swing in with Ithaqua and Tix. One thing you could even do is maybe just get Ithaqua copies and replace the Horus with Ithaqua, and then give your warrior armor to the Garuda, which you'll have. And then you can go for Penny. We can keep the Horus around, replace him with Ithaqua, and we'll have Garuda. And finally, that'll be your first three E5s. Penny, Garuda, Ithaqua. And that'll be a perfectly great account. And as events come, where you can spend 300 Heroic Summon Scrolls, you can get Soul Symbols and regress these heroes. So yeah, hopefully they'll give Soul Symbols away at Anniversary. I think that'll be really cool. I imagine DH Games might actually do that. Um, and also, you might be able to get your hands on some during summon events. How many scrolls are we sitting on? Oh, 378. That's perfect. We've got a free summon here as well. Let me do it. Woohoo! Doc Christian. That's sad. But either way, uh, you should be set to make some decent progress. And I'm very much looking forward to seeing what these 300 scrolls will do for you. Because they'll get you more soul symbols. They'll make it so that you can regress this. And you'll make some pretty decent progress. So yeah, good luck to you, buddy. And hopefully this will be an opportunity for you to fix this up and make the account look nice and clean. So aim for Ithaqua, aim for Penny, and aim for Garuda. Nice one. This next account... Whew. Man. You're all doing the same thing. I don't know how many of these account review videos I'm going to have to make until you all just get the message. One E5 at a time. Now this belongs to a friend of the community's account. I say friend, it's more of a friend of a friend. This guy was too embarrassed to admit that the account belonged to him, that he had to get one of our members of the community to name and shame him. So thank you for bringing this one to our attention because this is... This is interesting! Because I can see the intent. You want to build Ithaqua, you want to build Garuda, you want to build Russell, but you... Clearly didn't want to build them that much because you stopped at E2. And I don't care if it's Faceless, if it's Bade. I don't care if it's Ithaqua. If it's Garuda. If it's E2, it's E2. And there shouldn't be other ones. It's just a strange choice. And the 10-star Drake, I actually like. I think that's a cool choice. 10-star Delacium, though. Ooh, that's food. Just feed it, man. You do not need this 10-star Delacium. Oh, Why? Why the Celestial Stone? Then again, I guess he might be using this for Ithaqua Cheese, so that's totally understandable. I guess this is a PvE account for that reason. we got Horus, Russell, Garuda. None of this is screaming PvP. This is all for boss fights and game modes like the Void. So that kind of makes sense on that argument. Oh, 8-star Asmodel. What is, what is this fella? Okay, he hasn't got a stone. That's nice. Well, I'll, I'll, I'll give him one. Wait, wait, wait. How did he get to 8-star without a st- What the? That's just pure neglect. Do we even have other copies? we got one more, so that's nine star. Oh, come on. Please tell me we have more. No? So we just committed to an Asmodel? How many of the, the thingies do we have in the void? Only 644? Sheesh. Okay, that's interesting. Well, um... Hmm. This is going to be a grind, this account. Because there's no solution that involves, like, regressing to make progress. We are just going to have to hard build these heroes and just kind of ignore the fact that we could have an E5 by now to accompany Horus, which is really painful. This happens all the time. People start building multiple heroes and they literally halt the fact that they could get an E5. And what you've got to realize, guys, is E5s are so important because they can be imprinted, they can do your seal lands, they can get all of that done. And that's super important. Super important. So this account, even though the hero choices aren't terrible, 
the rate at which you've decided to build them is very poor. And I think to help you improve going forwards, you need to focus on building food. So as and when you get copies of heroes, build them to 9 star, build them to 10 star, and use them to improve your team. Please. Just get one of these heroes finished. I don't care if it's Russell. I don't care if it's Ithaca. I don't care if it's Garuda. It's going to be hard to get Russell finished, though, because you don't have the copies. And please don't spend Glorious Relics on him. Just try and get him by pulling him from chests or things like that. How are we doing for chests, by the way? We literally don't have any. No 6-star, no 5-star, no nothing. We don't even have scrolls. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Why don't we have scrolls? Bro. It's been like... Ages since a heroic summon event. Please don't tell me you're twitchy fingers. This is a twitchy fingers. Let's go look at his profit orbs. Nope. Nope, 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 nope. Okay, okay. Keep it together, MK. The number one rule of this game. Is build an E5 as soon as you can. The number two rule is don't use event currencies outside of events. It's simple. You don't use profit orbs outside of profit orb events. You don't use heroic summon scrolls outside of heroic summon events. Them be the rules. This is an angel legion where you can use them wherever you want. This is Idle Heroes. Oh, man. Anyone out there, please do not do this. When I see zeros across the board, it makes me realize there be some big mistakes going on. And that is what results in this kind of thing. I did not realize that this would be a symptom of a Twitchy Fingers account. Well, it makes sense when you think about it now. Because as soon as he has a 9-star hero, he thinks, I can make progress. Boom, E2. Rather than waiting to 10-star them to finish his already established heroes. So yeah, man. Please, don't get twitchy fingers. Don't start spending everything as soon as you can. Don't upgrade heroes because you can. Focus on 1E5 and please start hoarding resources. Because, bro, you need to. You really need to. I'm being honest, man. I'm being as honest as I can. Please. Fix it. Fix it by learning to be patient. Whew. Next account. Come on. What else have you got for me? This next account belongs to Kerbo. Now, we've been on Kerbo's account to do profit orbs. And that was fun. I had a good time doing his profit orbs. But we never checked his heroes. And gee, am I annoyed because we missed a treat. Are you ready to see Kerbo's Heroes? Oh yeah. E5 Asmo, E5 Aspen, E5 Garuda, E5 Horus, and then it goes downhill. E4 Fiona, E3 Sherlock, E2 Heartwatcher, E2 Delacium. E2 Ithaqua, E1 Russell, E1 Anosuke, 10 star Rogan, 10 star Tix, 9 star Anosuke, bold, and a 7 star Drake and a 7 star Carry. We have a 6 star Tussilago, a 6 star Ada, and a. What? We've got a. Wait, a 6 star Carry as well? Whoa, 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 whoa. What's going on here? Why are we not just building a Carry? Why are we building multiple mini crappy Carries? What is the meaning of this? Was this some bizarre attempt to clear seal land? Like, wh wh what happened, Kerbo? Because that's, that's like, what, like six copies of carry you've got right there? Oh, no. That's not good. Oh, what else are we looking at? E2 Delacium, I do not like. I don't see a need for E2 Delacium. I guess you could build them to E5 to do Abyss Seal Land, but you're also in the process of building Fiona and Sherlock and Anosuke and Ithaqua and Russell. Oh my word, same again. Wide! Why are we always building so wide? I 
don't understand. I get it, you like these heroes, but build them one at a time, please, ladies and gentlemen. One at a time. It's for your own good. One at a time. That's two, that's misleading. One, one at a time. Spa. Dreadful. All right, E1 imprint on Horus. Interesting choice. Of all the heroes that you own, that's not the one I'd imprint. But then again, maybe our man here is trying to do seal land. Oh, he has. He's done it. Okay, there is no reason for Horus to be walking around with imprints. Then again, who's the better choice? <laughs> Garuda? Yeah. Oh, no. The funny thing is, if we look at this, let's go back to those Horus imprints. Horus could be Void 2. Genuinely. He could be Void 2. We have the Stellar Shards for it. But all the 10-star food that we could potentially have is just wasted in Heart Watcher, in the Delacium. I'd go so far to say there's a Nosuke, even the Sherlock, right? You're building way too many heroes at once, and it's really hurting the power of your heroes. This is just bizarre. I don't get it. Also, you've not got to death in Aspen Dungeon. Whoa! Okay, 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 look. I swear, can't Aspen do Aspen Dungeon? That's kind of like his thing. Yeah, it's crit damage. Ugh, I don't like this. Balance strike. I guess you may have been doing some PvE. That actually makes sense. But if we take the imprints off Horus, we stick them on Aspen. Surely Aspen can get to death one. Like, please. And also... Oh, my word. Whoa, 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 whoa. whoa. That's a lot of pennies, first of all. That's enough of Noskes to build him to... I think E5, yeah. So we've just got a 9-star as well? Why? Oh, I'm confused. I'm confused. You only need 9 pennies. That's more than 9. What's the bag looking like? Have we got, like, tons of heroes just in shard form as well? We got more Anoskis. <laughs> uh, we got some Ithaquas there. Whoa, 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 whoa. Two Ithaquas? No. No! You could have an E5 Ithaqua! We could have an E5 Ithaqua on this account, but we don't. Nope. Instead, we have an E2 Ithaqua and a bunch of crappy E2s, E3s, and an E4 Fiona. That is unacceptable. I... 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 What, what's the word I'm looking for? I shake my fist at you. That's the one. That is not fair, man. That is not fair. No one does Ithaca dirty like that. No one feeds Heart Watcher a Delacium food when it should be Ithaca on the feasting. Right? You are starving her. You've got her on minimum wage. She's got power beyond all her imagination and you're just not invested in it. Attack, attack, skill damage. That's that's not bad. It's not the best, but it's, it's not bad. But look, my dude. What you need to do. You need to be simple. And secure. And we need to regress some heroes. Let's look at the soul stones. <laughs> Finally. An account with soul stones. This is progress. And we got... Whoa, 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 whoa. Three five-star selection chests? We could be popping off, Kerbo. We could have everything. We could have so many things right now. Oh! Oh! Why do I sound like Marge from Simpsons? <laughs> Look, you have nine regresses and replaces. You should use them. Like, seriously. You should use them. But how? Right, right, right. Let's go. Let's five head this. Okay. Ticks. Into Horus. Yes. 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 No! Why would you do this? He's 10 star. Soul Stone 3? Bro. That's a lot of dust and gold. How much dust have you got on this account? I hope you have loads. I hope so. Where is it? Where's the dust pile? Okie dokie then. That's... Wow, I'm in the way. Let me scroll this up so you can see. 
1.1 million. Okay, that's that's fine. That's okay. In that case, in that case, I'm going to suggest a few little things that can improve this account immediately. Immediately. What you want to do. 10 star ticks over here. Regress the ticks. You'll lose this stone. And I apologize for that. And you probably spent a ton of resources to try and get it, but you'll lose it. But then, Kerbo, then what we do is we then take all the ticks copies that you own, we stick them in the Horus. And then the Horus becomes a ticks because you replace it. And then what we need to do is we need to regress this Anosuke. Probably. Well, what's Fortress looking like? Fortress Seal Land. 15 out of 20. You know what? I reckon you can do it with Sherlock and Fiona. Yeah. Regress Anosuke. Bye-bye. Get him out of here. Pfft, rubbish. Do the same with Heart Watcher. Do the same with Delisium. Build Ithaqua to E5. You'll have Tix, Ithaqua, Garuda, and a Fiona. Doesn't, doesn't that sound so much better? Doesn't that sound like a much better account to own? Isn't that just way cooler? Are you saying regress Horus and feed Tix? That works too. That works too. Oh, no, it doesn't. No, it doesn't. Because there's. I think the gold and the spirit is more important. For this account, spirit will be the most valuable thing. So if we regress Horus, we're going to lose that spirit. And that's going to be bad. So we, we regress this ticks. We regress this ticks. We then throw the ticks into the Horus. We build Ithaca separately. Then we finish Fiona when we get another copy at Anniversary, most likely. We finish the Sherlock whenever you finish Sherlock. And then you're going to be great. It's going to be good. And you'll make progress. Now, on the topic of progress, you've ruined whatever was going on here in the Dark Faction. What you need to do, and this is going to sound really janky, you need to build Carrie to 10 star, then regress her to have the carry copies to build this carry. And that's going to be awful for your dark food. That's actually the most awfully unoptimal thing you could ever do. And this is why this is the biggest mistake on the account. I don't care about anything else on here. Because this can all be fixed. But the cost of fixing this is too high way too high. Building a 10-star carry and regressing, that being the only solution? No. That is not a solution. That is that is a loss of all your dark food. You may as well have built a dark spirit at that point. It's bad. Like, I don't know what possessed you to build too many carries. But I swear, Kerbo, this was not a. This was. Uh, I, I don't. I don't have words. I am just speechless. This account. Oh. Sheesh. Not sheesh. Just. Sheesh. Just. And uh, yeah, agreed. Regressing is worse than losing copies. I think you just need to accept that these carries are lost to the wind. Which is also super painful. Because I know people that have bought copies of carry for $100 each. Not fun. Regress Asmo, he's useless. I He can void the Asmo at some point. I, I think the Asmo Asmo's a slow burn, or he's a replace. You can replace the Asmo with whoever you want. Because your first Transcendence is probably going to be Halor. And actually, as a point... How do we not have a Transcendence hero? We have so many heroes here. How do we not have a Transcendence already? How do we only have 2.8 mil? Are you not doing the void? What's your realms gate at? Well, ah, you're smashing? Void Corruption 20. And he's smashing. Oh no. Right, yeah, you don't want to do that. You don't want to smash. You want to try and get your Void Corruption as high as possible. And then we can push and make progress. So, 
yeah not good not good we want to push the void not stall on the void now i know the void can be tedious for some of you but it's uh it's, it's a, bit of a bit of a pain but i really hope i really hope that with the right decisions and the right tweaks and the right use of your 45 soul symbols that you can fix this there is a path to progress walk along it and go walk my child make this account great because you can a apart from the, the carries that that's just yeah oh well sucks to be carry next account let's go okay folks it's time for the final account Let's see what we're looking at. 84 million gold, free to play, level 160 with 21,000 gems. Yeah, seems promising. Seems like it could be good. How's this event progress looking? Little spoiler, guys, this is the AI fantasy event. For those of you that are probably watching this in the future, this event's already ended, but ta-da. But here we go, let's look at this. It's hero time. Oh, okie dokie. That's the bizarrest combination of heroes I think I've ever set my eyes upon. Garuda, nice. Penny, nice. Horus, it's okay. Dantalian, E1. Valentino, E1. And Field. Like, I understand Dantalian and Valentino a tiny bit. Because they're pretty cool. They're, they're kind of cool. But Field? This is a bad hero. There is nothing good about Field in the slightest. He hasn't even got a good stone. You just made him E1 for the jokes. What's going on? Please tell me we have some soul symbols. Please tell me there's an out to this. There is not. Oh, no. Oh, but why? Okay, good thing we have five-star chests across the board. We have a light and dark chest. That's not bad. That's good. In the bag, what are we looking at here? Uh, not a lot of heroes. We got a nine-star puppet, though. That's always a good sign. But we got double Anosuke, Flora, Ignis, Sherlock, Delacium, double Olivia, double Nakia, triple Penny. Not like you're going to need her. You've already got an E5. Whew. Okay. Okay. How many scrolls do we have? Did I check scrolls? Yes! Oh. oh! All right. Despite this account being super scuffed, there is a solution. And this will be the best where are they now. Because anniversary is going to be fire for you. It's going to be so, so good. Because this account will without doubt pop off we can regress the dantalian we can regress the valentino and we can regress the field because during anniversary you are going to get 20 soul symbols if you use all 2000 scrolls now that means ladies and gentlemen all of this just disappears it turns into nine star fodder galore which means we can then make 10 star heroes we can then decide to build another e5 hero who's that going to be probably the new light and dark because we have light and dark food in the form of sleepless and gurk in fact you can probably keep the gurk and use michelle as food I know it sounds scuffed but you can go with michelle as food you could probably use the, maybe the faith blade yeah, maybe the Faith Blade. Just, uh, this is bad. You shouldn't have this many six stars in the life action, but you can probably just feed them. I know it's a really weird suggestion, but if you just go Michelle, Tara, Faith Blade, om nom 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 nom. Bell Rain's kind of cool. I'd keep her. She's probably the most useful of, of these ones that are feedable. Ada's pretty nice, and Russell's pretty nice, so yeah. But what you can do is by destroying all of this and, and replacing the Sleepless with the new Dark Hero, the account will just transform. It will become the most amazing beauty transformation that I think we could ever, ever hope for in this series. I think there's only one other account we've seen, which was an iOS account, that could even match the transformation that's coming on here. So, 
I, I actually really like this because there's a solution. Because you've been smart. You have saved scrolls. And saving scrolls for big events is, without doubt, one of the best things you can do for your account. So thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you for actually being a player with the patience and sensibilities to see their mistakes and go ahead and be prepared to fix it. This is actually the best worst account I've ever seen, without doubt, because we have potential. Now, you're doing a lot of bad things. You're six-starring heroes that are elite. You shouldn't be doing this. You're actually building way too wide here. Like, the Shadow Faction is scuffed because of it. That said, look at this. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven copies of Ithaca. Please tell me we have two more in the bag. We don't. Sad face. But, I mean, Ithaca could come in. You know I love her. She's a potential hero to go for. But even then, I mean, whether you want to replace or regress, I think regressing is the answer. I think just regress these heroes. Don't bother replacing. Just regress, regress, regress. And let's just go and focus on building some 10-star fodder heroes and just pop off. Look, you've got the five Walters. Brilliant. You've got the five Bades. Oh, you've got the five Camets. This man is going places. We have. Let's see here. Okay, we don't have five five-star copies in the Fortress Faction. And unfortunately, it's not the same for Abyss. It's not the same for Forest. But that's because you're probably profit orbing in the Shadow Faction. So we can build some 10 stars in Shadow. We can use them to imprint an E5 heroes. This is going to be so so good. And Rita, you said you tried to do the Pokédex before you had an E5. That's fair enough. But just forget that goal now. That's not a thing. Ignore that. Boo. Get out of here. Wah. Be done. Slap that idea out your brain. Smack, smack, smack. We are going to focus on just regressing the E1s and popping off. Because these E1 heroes are going to be so much food for you. Three nine-star dummies are inside each of these. So that's nine nine-star dummies. That is a lot of food. And it's all going to come your way at Anniversary. You're going to get new light and dark heroes. And we are going to pop off. So really, dude. This is great. This is going to be great. And it's a really nice positive end for today's episode. Because some of the accounts have been actually, you know, truly horrifying. With the scary, scary, mind-meltingly painful things. But in time, this account is going to look great. So I look forward to seeing it. After Anniversary, I want to see this. And after Anniversary, guys, we will be doing a Where Are They Now episode to look at some of the most horrifying free-to-play accounts we've looked at or even just, just account reviews we've done and to see where they're up to in their progress. So if you want to catch that, subscribe and join us for more content like this at twitch.tv forward slash MKX jump and guys let me know in the comment section down below if you have accounts like this let me know which one was your favorite let me know which one you hated and I will see you all next time so until next time guys happy island